So what do you measure? When you're doing something, how do you measure whether you've <clears throat> succeeded or not? How do you measure whether your life is in the right direction? Do you use other people's um, directions or ideas of success as yours I had this I saw this um, statement about this one group of people I think they were like uh, like a small island or something like that but it became apparent that their idea of success was the amount of fun you had. Laughter, talking to other people, socializing, things like that. In fact, I guess another way of saying it is they didn't take the world too seriously. Um, and you know, some people seem to be able to do that very well. And yet, a lot of us are sucked into the doom and gloom um, of this world. Now, I can tell you for sure that it's doomed. <laughs> but that doesn't, that doesn't mean that the time we're here, that we have to worry about that in any excessive way. Maybe we have to be responsible um, not to destroy it for the next person. But we also have to be feel responsible to allow others to enjoy it too, rather than always worrying about it. Now this is a subject that really I'm no good at but I felt like I would bring it up because other people have to be struggling with it as well I don't know what the answer is to you know to the best way to measure your success in life I know that I felt like initially success to me was is making something happen come up with an idea of any type and then make it happen and if it came out and was reasonably successful at doing what it was supposed to do whether it was you know a group of people getting working together or a person succeeding at being educated in something or the colors that I paint striped a car that really was appealing that was how I measured my success the thing was is it didn't give me any financial success <laughs> and other people measure success by how much money you make or stuff you have Sometimes it's not so much that you make the money, but you spend it whether you got it or not. Not a good way to measure. And in time, if you're, uh, if you like to analyze the world, um, analyze yourself, you start wondering whether that was a good way to measure. I think of um, uh, Jordan Peterson, he's very good at describing, at least for me, the way I think and the things that I actually need to fight against, challenge myself not to get stuck in 
certain modes of thought because it drags me down just like I just told you the world is doomed well that may be however there's a lot that can be done and there's a lot of people that you can affect um, and that is more important than worrying about that final day or whatever it is that finally puts us under so ask yourself what would be good measures in your mind and actually right at this moment I um, I took this um, test they didn't call it that though um, assessment I think is what they uh, called it this was made by Jordan Peterson and some others and it's called the big five aspect scale it's pretty interesting to take it it gives you an idea of the kind of person you are I um, agreeableness for me is not very high now there's some drawbacks to this if you're my kind of person but we won't get into that but that's with anything you can't expect it to be perfect um, one of the things that it showed I was uh, moderately high on conscientiousness which that would be the type of per industriousness I'm very high but um, extroversion exceptionally low I'm literally at the zero percentile so that gives you an idea of um, some of the weaknesses in my personality enthusiasm zero it really is hard for me to um, get enthused about something because of a whole bunch of reasons that I have others you know maybe would know would think of them as being different but I think of things as well okay what's going to be the next great thing so to get really enthusiastic about this one means is this the greatest thing I'm ever going to see or am I going to see something greater and so I need to leave some room for that next great thing um, it's kind of another measure I have as to I don't want to measure too high because then I won't have anywhere to go you know I know that yeah I I know that a lot of times for me when I was measuring success it was strictly uh, functionality so let's say in my company as long as what I designed did what it was supposed to do that was success um, at first I didn't even consider the idea that I should be making money at this there is a certain amount of requirement for profit especially if you have a family because along with succeeding at what you're doing you have a family that you have to take care of that you need to be able to show some kind of success and you need a measure for that so I found later on that success wasn't just um, making the product work 
but it was also making profit. And then I found success was also making it attractive. And if I was profitable, I could help show success as far as with my family as well. Now, there's other ways of measuring success with your family, of course, and I can say that some of them I failed at um, miserably. Uh, however, I am very proud of all three of my children and, you know, and wouldn't trade them for the world. I got another area where uh, I would move, I would, um, yeah. Sometimes I had to create my own measures for success. I worked for a company and when I went there I started out as a um, like a methods and standards engineer and in time I ended up being the um, production manager. Well when I got into the job I said well, how do you guys measure my success? How do you know when I'm doing a good job? They didn't have one. So there was no way of me saying, look, I'm, I'm accomplishing your goals because they didn't really have specific goals. In fact, this company was so poorly run it didn't even have I mean its best um, profit year in 30 years was less than 4% profit in 30 years they never made more than 4% profit now that's pitiful okay yes you have bad years but that's un that's unrealistic that's unreasonable and they weren't hiding the money they weren't playing games this family was poor <laughs> so as I started looking at it I had to figure out a way um, and I came up with dollars per hour shipped and so that was what I would show them as far as how things were going. And it drove my behavior, which is another thing you need to watch, which with um, measuring um, your measures is what you measure. Because if all you measure is money, then you don't care about other people because your only concern is is increasing the dollars in your bank and it this in history it's shown that this is a very bad way to to measure success because ultimately your sex success turns into failure um, when your business or even your country just goes to shit um, money is not gonna successfully keep you afloat it will for a long time if if the if you play the game right but it won't ultimately keep you together so um, I guess that's about it look into this um, Jordan Peterson thing the actual site is called understand myself dot com and um, that's just like I said it understand myself dot com and um, check it out now unfortunately the test cost you ten bucks but if especially if you're young and feel lost it'd be a good place to start and if you're disturbed by some of the answers you get and I mean disturbed in that 
you're um, n you're depressed seek help that's one of the reasons for this test but it's also to help you to learn how to to deal with others so check it out um, actually I have another one for you it's the Myers-Briggs now that one M Y E R S B R I G G S I don't know if it's myersbriggs.com or what but that one breaks you down into 16 categories the nice thing about that one is is you can read about the other categories and understand the difficulties and ease of communication with those categories depending on which they are just to give you an idea if you want to look it up I'm an INTJ I is introvert I can't remember what the others are right now it's been a while but it's another one that I like it's quite old it's they developed it I think back during World War two something like that um, some people like it some people don't but hey it's information and if you're trying to find out about yourself and you don't want to go to <laughs> take psych classes or become a psychiatrist or whatever that's one way of at least looking into it so hope you have success